and that's and that's but, what they but, deserve. It. But you know, it's a lot of black cops. It's a lot of good cops. Do, and they and there's a lot of people that want to do the right thing and want to protect and serve. But it's just hard without us reforming some of the stuff that is police, you know, policing and and how they govern different states. The whole attitude of police need to change. You don't need to be trying to uh, just actively profile people and stop people at night. I mean, you know, it's just it just leads to b- the bad things. I'm not saying just because you're out, you should get a free pass, but they got to tone it down because people are going through a lot already and you pull them over. They might not have their registration and all this, but it's just people are being pushed, push, push. They're going to push back some, too, and then you're going to get aggressive. They're going to get aggressive, and, it, and we're going to have an outcome like this. I watched a video <clears> clip <throat> this week from Highport, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. A black man, he was driving a, a scat pack Dodge. Mm-hmm. He passed a police officer. He's him and the police officer made contact, eye contact while he passed him. <laughs> the police officer then pulled out and got behind him. Mm-hmm. The police officer then noticed that a piece of his license plate was covered up by a decal mm-hmm. and pulled him over. Okay. Brandon, why did the pol- police, after making contact, pull out and try to find something? <laughs> they, did he what? see that decal? Why he no, I, way I, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. But they, they like their, their minds start processing. Okay, it's a scat pack. It's a challenger. It's a dodge. It's probably drugs. You know, that's that's just how they program to think or train to think in a way. And like I say, they may be right. But is it necessary to try to do start doing all this police work and try to figure out what's going on and pull this person over? Not really. Wa- not, not not really in my in my assessment. And watch this. The man gave him a warning, right? Because. <clears throat> mm-hmm. The decal was coming up by the person he bought the car from. You know the little things. Right, yeah, I know they go around. Mm -hmm. He gave him a warning. The next day, you know, just before he's about to leave, he said, sir, you got any guns or illegal stuff in (laughs) in that car? Mm -hmm. He was like, no, I'm a truck driver. You see, I got my DLL. Well, Mm -hmm. let's let's wait and let's bring the dogs out here to sniff it just in case. You see what I'm talking about, Brandon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they, they don't they don't like to be wrong about their assessment and their prejudgment. So then they want to go to waste your time because that, that that that's your time. That's your money. You got to sit on the side of the road just because a regular person who's been deemed an officer. Now he has power. He can do whatever he wants to you. Because and I hate to tell you this is what happens. Brandon may 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 understand. You drive and make eye contact with a cop. He turn your ass over. (laughs) (laughs) Because it look it it does look suspicious, but you know you you got to know when you and you grow into this and you kind of learn. I don't even look at police anymore because I'm not I'm not looking like I'm not I'm not looking around no more like that. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to speed limit. If I see a cop over there, if I look over there like this and, and looking like that, they, 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 yeah, woo, woo, that's that's what's happening next. So but if I'm just, doing, I'm just doing my own thing, I'm focused on the road, I'm focused on where I'm going. I haven't gotten pulled over since then, since operating under that. So you tell me you have to be submissive. No, I'm doing Dad, my regular nah, thing. I, nah, it's a nah, regular don't look at me. <laughs> don't look me in my eyes, boy. Look on, look on the ground, boy. Don't okay. look me in my eyes. And so you know what? And I'm not saying that's what's going on, but I live to see another day. I haven't been pulled over. My time hasn't been wasted. I that's see a cop going on. car. Yeah, I see a cop car. It's a cop car. I'm, I may look over. I may see him, but I'm not. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm in the right. I ain't got to worry about it. I'm gonna keep going with my day. I'm not turning my music down. I ain't doing none of that stuff no more. But you know, you you'll do that back in the day. You'll try to make sure your seatbelt on. You're trying to look at your speed. No, because other people don't have to worry about this stuff, so I'm not gonna worry about it either. And luckily, I've been I haven't been pulled over or anything like that. So so audience, what Brandon just said is cops, you cannot look them in, you cannot look at them. <laughs> you can't if, if, if you look at a cop and you black while you're driving, tell me I'm wrong. You're getting pulled over. <laughs> you are <laughs> tell so, me I'm wrong. If if you, I mean, that's just what it I is. I ain't looking at no cop. I tell you that, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Look at the cop in America. All the audience, 
this is the experience. This is the black experience right here. Right. And this is our experience. We're entitled to our experience. You're entitled to your own experience. You could be a hundred percent legal. Correct. Dry everything is correct on your car. If those windows are tinted <laughs> and your window was down and they could see your complexion and <laughs> you may eye contact right. with the cop right. on the other side of the highway. <laughs> He's driving around pulling you over. Right. And on, on top of that, if you're black and you have a Dodge vehicle, you're getting pulled over. I'm sorry. If you got a Challenger or a Charger, you're gonna they're gonna pull you over. They're gonna just think you that's you just fit a profile that they have. They know you smoke weed. It might depending on your state, it may be illegal, it may be legal. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. <laughs> think he was driving a Mercedes or a BMW. Allegedly, he looked at a cop and they pulled him over. And oh, he's really? a damn United States citizen. <laughs> <laughs> and you know? I think they gave him a hard time, too, right? And he had to kind of explain who he yeah. was. Mm. Yeah. You know, see, if I was Tim Scott right then, I said, oh, now I know he kind of... It's What color is white? You got a white? I don't know. We we'll look at, we could look it up, but, you know, we probably were right on our right. assessment. If I was I'm, Tim Scott then, I said... No, he well, he may be delusional. I said he did me wrong. I would get this man fired. <laughs> That's what I do. A or, senator could get right. a police officer fired if they wanted to. Right. Easy. Or start working towards and speaking out about that type of stuff. Mm -mm. Like mm -mm. <laughs> you won't get reelected, Brandon. No, you won't. You won't. <laughs> so so and if you, I was still Scott, he, that man would be fired. Right. But he can't even be mad because you're either gonna be their puppet or you're gonna be out of here. So you're either gonna be trying to make changes for them, and that's why you got elected, because the majority got you elected, or you're gonna be good trying day, to work everybody. I got some good news for you. If you suffer from bad credit, bad debt, time management, income, or just not reaching your goals, I have the perfect solution for you. In my book, From Zero to 200K, it will teach you how to solve all of those issues. Now, you may be wondering, how can I tell you this? Well, I was a manager at a S&P 500 company. I supervise over 300 employees. I am debt free. My credit score is over the 800 and I reach every goal I put my mind to it. Some of the benefits of reading my book right here, you will learn how to build better relationship skills. You'll learn how to increase your wealth. You'll learn about ownership as in businesses or homes. You'll learn about how to increase your earned income that you make it from your job right now. So I encourage you guys today to hit the link below, get your copy. This is a black owned business. Uh, a lot of black people was involved in making this. So I know y'all guys gonna like it. Thank you, you have a good day.